Good evening church, it is Wednesday the 22nd of December and it's time to come and pause and light our Advent candle. Our reading this evening is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 to 12. Let me read it for us. After they'd heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. The wise men from afar finally found the little family, worshipped Jesus and presented their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. There's a cartoon that appears every Christmas time that says, after the three wise men left, the three wiser women arrived with a pile of clean nappies, casseroles for the week and plenty of formula milk. Just as an aside, we actually have no idea how many wise men visited Jesus, only how many gifts they brought. Funny as that story about the wise women is, it's actually pretty incredible how spot on the gifts were that the wise men brought. Gold would fund this little family as they had to flee for their lives to escape murderous King Herod. Frankincense would repel desert insects from tender infant skin. And myrrh would serve as baby oil, keeping Jesus clean and comfortable. Practical gifts but also gifts with the messages we sing about every year. Gold signified royalty. This child was born King of the Jews and his reign will last forever. Priests used incense to worship God and this child was God himself come down to earth. Myrrh was used to prepare bodies for burial this child, both King and God, was born to die and then to rise again. See, the wise men, they couldn't possibly have fully understood what those gifts meant, but they gave them anyway. Magi, named because they dealt in magic, which was never part of God's purposes for his people, and yet they and their gifts were welcomed and accepted. This was how God showed the world that all are welcome, no matter our age, our gender, our race, no matter where we've been, what we've done, what we've believed, or how we've behaved in the past. Jesus came for the benefit of everyone, and he wants all of us to come to him. He will accept us. He will accept you. Let's pray. Loving God, you know me completely. You know all the things that I've ever done, the things that I'm proud of and the things that I'm ashamed of. And you accept me and you love me completely. What gift can I bring you? I'm reminded of the words in the carol, what can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I have, I give him. I give him my heart. Amen, church. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your 
day. Uh, hopefully your build up to Christmas now is not too busy and too hectic with all of the things you still have to do. I'll see you tomorrow. Rejoice, rejoice.